Okay, everyone, uh, I've got my two cushions already done. I am going to show you exactly how to do this on any cushion that you want to cover. This particular example, this cushion is uh, just, a, just a little shy of four inches being thick. So I have my material laid out, and I went around and measured eight inches because I want four inches coming up, and I want four inches covering the bottom and I'm going to chalk each corner so I've already measured my my fabric and I'm going to do the last one here for you this is not an exact science not an exact science I'm just laying this so it's somewhat even and just chalk a line Okay, we're going to go in the opposite direction. What I'm going to do is line up my chalk line on my ruler. Draw a line. There we go. Okay, fabric is cut out. I'm going to zip through here. I can't see. I'm, I'm fumbling. Okay. I can't. I'm in my bedroom, so this is like really hard to get this. So you can see it's all cut out. Got my four corners cut out. Now I'm going to go and sew them. We're going to sew a three eighths of an inch. I'm just eyeballing it. You want to make sure you set them seams. stitching at both top and bottom. All right, we're going to do all four. Okay, I got my corners done. I'm going to dry fit my cushion. I've been doing this on all of them. Just put them in here, make sure that they fit. I think I'll turn this around the other way here. Get the good side out. down exactly how it's going to go in here. Make sure your fit is good. It looks good. Corners line up nice. So now what I can do is I'm just going to fold under. I'm going to open the seam. Okay, I'm gonna, that's why you kind of go with like a three-eighths of a seam. Open the seam, and I gotta go get pins, and we're gonna pin down, my um, elastic is about an inch, so I'm gonna go maybe down, maybe an inch, inch and a half, and I'm gonna pin all the way around. And I'm just gonna, where my elastic's gonna go, I'm gonna do a spot for starting and stopping, and around the corners. That's all I'm going to do right now. All right, everything is pinned. I have a start and stop. It's, you can see, maybe just a couple hand widths away from the corner. Here's the corner. I got these all pinned. The corners are pinned. My start and stop right there. So everything is pinned. I'm going to take this off and I'm going to the sewing machine. Do a quick stitch. We're going to start at one of our pins that tells us where to start and stop. Do a little forward, backward stitch. You want to lock that stitch in because this is where you're going to start your um, elastic. around quickly, quickly, leaving a, I'm doing about a one inch, uh, you know, like allowance for that one, I have one inch wide elastic. Okay, we're 
over to the other side here. There we go. Now we're just going to do the same thing on the other side. All right, I have a couple of safety pins and I have my elastic. And of course, I only sewed only par partially away from the corner here. So just go ahead and take, I have some elastic out. This is about what I'm going to need. There is a rule of thumb, but I'm just winging this. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start feeding this in trying to keep this flat and I'm going to go all the way around this other pin is for when I get all the way around and then I can pin it and just kind of dry fit it um, make sure it fits on the cushion so I'll come back after I get this all the way to the other side okay I've gotten to the end, the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pin out, still holding this elastic, and I'm going to pin right at my seam right here. Take my other pin. When you get a gather that looks about like that, that's pretty close. It might not be exact. That's why I'm going to pin this and dry fit it. So I'm going to pin through right where my seam is, elastic and everything. And then I can grab my cushion, bring it up here. And just dry fit the cushion. See how it fits. See if I have the right elastic stretch on it. good. Might bring just a little bit more elastic on this end here, which is why you dry fit it. So I want just a little bit more elastic, not much, right there. So now I know where this is and I can cut this. Now I'm going to do the same to the other end. Now you know how to do that. See that nice gathering? That's It's all adjustable. So you can get a nice fit. Alright. Okay. <clears throat> I've got this on for a complete dry fit. Okay. All the way around. And it's looking pretty good. So I'm thinking I can... Uh, this this all looks good. Feels good. It's nice and snug. Flip it over too. Look at the other side. I have to iron this. I know, but there we go. That looks good. All right. And just like we did before, I'm going to take. Well, that pin is through everything, so I can just go ahead and snip this now. And now what we do is we go, the last thing left to do is we're going to go back to the sewing machine. We're going to lock in our elastic by doing just some stitches about four times up and down, really securing that uh, elastic right there where that pin is on each of those four spots and then all you need to do is just go ahead and 
don't start right on where your seam is for your um, elastic. I usually go just a little bit away and just go ahead and finish that seam. Done. How simple was that? Thanks for watching.